Meeting will come to order. Good evening, everyone. This is a meeting of the Lakeville Conservation Commission. My name is Bob Bouchard, uh, I'm chairman, and we will do the roll call. Uh, Nancy. Here. Joseph. Present. Fred. Present. John. Present. Josh. Here. Okay, and Mark is absent. First item on our agenda is 32 Fuller Shores. I will read the legal notice if I can read the print. <laughs> legal Conservation Commission will hold a public hearing in accordance with Mass General Law, Chapter 131, Section 40, Wetland Protection Act. For a notice of intent submitted by Kim, Kevin, and Richard Fuller for installation of a treatment septic system with associated grading and tree removal at 32 Fuller Shores Road, Lakeville in an area subject to the Wetlands Protection Act. The public hearing will be held on Tuesday, June 14, 2022 at 7 p.m. Now you've gone and done it. <laughs> Oops. 322 Memphis Street. I can't talk so. Thank you, Niles. Take it away. Put it over there. Oh, no, I'll do it again in a heartbeat. Thank you. Good evening, Darren McHales from Foresight Engineering here on behalf of the Fullers. Um, this is one of the original homes down in Fuller Shores. It's a one bedroom cottage that they've redone the outside and inside. Uh, came through, I think, three years ago to put the tanks in, a pipe tank system when the kids were going to take the house. But Mr. Fuller decided to live there. So can't just put tanks in with the treatment system not being installed. So we're just going to do the whole system at once. Uh, so this is a micro fast treatment system. Uh, so the water coming out of this should be very clean. Um, that's why we're within 100 feet of the pond. So we have to put a treatment system in. We don't have a choice. Uh, it is maintained annually, has a blower motor and a vent, um, but it's pretty much self-contained. And then we have a raised leach field because of the high water table. And these were probably some of the worst soils I've ever seen in Lakeville. <laughs> Literally, we just called it at 90 and went home. And that's why we're doing the one bedroom. So it's uh, everywhere else around this perk, but our lot didn't really seem to perk. There's perks on both sides of us, but ours didn't want to go. So. This is where we're at with the treatment system for a one bedroom. Uh, we have been to the Board of Health and approved uh, with one variance removed to uh, lower to the groundwater, just because we're not really supposed to with wells. Other than that, the plane remains the same. Happy to answer any questions. We have some tanks in the water table that are H20, monolithic for the pump so we don't get any leakage. Um, H20 for the weight to keep them from floating out of the ground. And like I said, just a raised septic system. No walls or anything like that, all natural grading. Mm -hmm. Try and swale the water from the roadway around us because if you look right now, all the water comes down full of shoes and goes right across our property into the pond. And we're about to put a <coughs> system a foot higher than the road. So we'll make sure we swale it into the right of way and get it down to the pond so we don't end up with a big ice puddle there in the winter. It's, it's too bad. It's the majority of the project is actually outside of the 100 foot. Yeah. Just a very small. Just all the soils. If we just had a little bit better soils, mm -hmm. I probably would have been able to just have grading inside your 100 foot. So I have kept all the components except for <clears> the <throat> edge of the system outside the 100 as far as I could. We're 10 feet to the street line. So. Okay. Good. Uh, so questions, anyone? I had a question about uh, when the power goes out, what happens with the fast system? Uh, it just becomes like a normal the dormant system, system right? and it has a pump, so it'll have storage after that. Uh, and then once it kicks back on, then it'll start to react again. So there might be maybe one dose that would go out when the pump first kicks on, and we might kick out an untreated dose. I'm just asking because I live on Edgewater Drive, that yeah. place in Wareham. Okay. On Edgewater Drive, but we're at the end of the power grid. So when the power goes out, Main Street gets it back in an hour and a half. And, yeah. You know, six days from Sunday, we're still counting on. Yep hoping for the power to come back. Just wondering how long they'll last. Yeah, so they have 500 gallons in the tank and they have a thousand in the pump tanks. You have 1,500 gallons. It's only a one bedroom, only one, one bedroom. person living in there. A so couple dash. hundred gallons a day, most. At the most, maybe a hundred no. for him, yeah. yeah. So he's an older gentleman. Okay. So I would think this would last two weeks. You know, Real see. older gentlemen go to the bathroom a lot more than you think. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't do as much laundry and dishes, so. Got that right. <laughs> Okay. They also live on the lake, so yeah. there'd be people coming to yeah. visit quite often. <laughs> um, this is a silly question, but on this map, I can't see 30. Can't see 30? It's 30, 30 pulling. It's underneath. It's kind of probably hatched, yeah. Right there. 32 is our house number. 
But it's right. 10 on this map, yeah. but it's that still right there. at the end of the road. It's right at the end of the road, right next to the but right. The map road. calls it's, it 41. It's 440110. 44. It's the map lock and lot yeah. on that one. Wait a minute, what are you calling it? 440111. See where 440111 is next door? So coming okay. this way at 440110. Yep. That's what it's 10 on this map right here, right? Yep. That's big. Right. That's just the assessor's map. That's, they don't put house numbers on the so, assessor's so map. So 30 is mailing address or something like that? 32. Yeah, 30, 30 is the one next to them. Yeah, yeah. 30 is the one next to them. Right here. Uh, See, it's kind of whited out because it says 10. Yes. Because it's locked. <laughs> it's not oh, house 10. It's oh, not that. that's the assessor's map. lot. Yeah, that's the assessor's map. Lock map. Okay. And that's why you don't see the lines because it's kind of highlighted on the. Well, you described it. I thought it had to be there, and I'm looking at the map. <laughs> it doesn't say terrain. Well, the first time I saw it, I struggled. Where yeah. the hell? Is yeah, the assessor's maps aren't really easy. <clears throat> Darren, did you do a, a detail for the um, erosion control? Uh, yeah, we should. Uh, do I have a hay bale on the second page? Yeah, second page. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah. We just did hay bales because it's such a gradual. Yeah. Slope, and they're definitely going to do that this year when it's nice and dry. So I think you're shooting for August to try and get this in. Um, Darren, do you have board health approval yet? Yes. You do? Yep. So the only thing they changed was the height of the system. They wouldn't give me the three foot variance, so we're four foot, so we're just a foot higher. So I'll give you some revised plans of the date. They just wanted to make sure there was no revisions in this meeting before I did that. Okay, so revised. Yep, one foot higher for the system. It's the only change. You're going to fill the existing? Yeah, those are two cesspools. Those will be pumped out and filled with sand. So you'll have some permeable soils. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right there. They can put the roof drains in there. You don't have a file number yet. Uh, we should. I know I got the MISA file. Yeah, we got a DP number. Uh, one nine two zero eight seven five. Okay. And we also have Mises' response, so we should be all set with all the other boards. Mm -hmm. If you guys have any revisions, I'm happy to make them. Take another minute to look things over. Okay. I apologize for the question because of. I'm not it's my only my third month on the conservation yep. commission, but these leaching fields is a is a bed of compartments that plastic chambers, plastic yep. chambers. Yep. Yeah, Just right. sitting on sand, and then we backfill it with sand, and then we put the loom over the top. Got it. So it's kind of important that we swale the water around the system, otherwise all the water from the road is just going to run right into my nice sand that they just put yeah. in for the now system. Now the pump is there because the drain fields are a higher elevation yep. than the... Because groundwater is three <coughs> feet, I think. Yeah. We have models at three feet. So plumbing out of the house is at two feet. So we're, already, <coughs> we're below the water table with the system almost. The tank. The grass is always greener over the second. Yep. <laughs> Funny, funny story and no Lost relevant stress. to this, but yeah, we had this exact si same system in my house in Maine. We yep. just moved down here from Maine, and we put the house on the market, and it checked the septic system and the drain, and that pump failed. I <laughs> had <laughs> a guy come out on a Sunday and change, change the pump. pump. Yeah, the pumps are either they fail immediately or they last ten to fifteen years. That's what I found. You either hear from someone, hey, my pump's not working, like within a week, or you just don't hear from anybody. So this was about twelve years. Yeah, right? so that's about their life. Because they, you figure they're running three or four times a day. Yeah. Worked so well. the reporting to the board of health. Yep. The, what did they give you conditions for reporting? No. Um. Basically, they have to have a two-year contract with Microfast for maintenance and then they have to maintain that contract. As soon as they don't maintain the contract, the letter goes to the Board of Health that they didn't renew their contract. They'll get a letter in the mail saying they have to maintain their system. Um, I've already explained to the Fullers that if they don't maintain their system, they have a system that's half the size it's supposed to oh, be, yeah. terrible soils, and they can expect to fail it very quickly if they don't maintain it. So that's the problem with these treatment systems is the monitoring that if you don't monitor and they're not maintained, you have a leach field that's half the size, <coughs> obviously should feel quick. Right, and I think that maybe we should ask for copies of the reporting so that if it goes awry in two years that we would know also. Yeah, you could. Good idea. 
it's part of the approval right here for the condition. So it's on the plan. Okay. Yep, there'll be some we Just ask for a copy of it and yeah, I order just ask conditions. The, yep, the micro fast. What's the maintenance that they do on it? Uh, I don't know, you gotta be in an uh, industrial plant operated to look at these things. But basically all this system is, is um, some fabrics that hang down, yep. that everything grows on, and it's got a small pump in there that circulates the water, and then that overflows into our pump tank and goes up to the system. Are there filters involved in this? No. No? No, it's just their bacterial growth. And basically they're checking it to make sure the blow is working, the vents aren't blocked, that the, all the fabrics are hanging correctly, and that the first compartment looks normal and that they're not putting anything crazy down the drain. So the first compartment of the tank is only 500 gallons. So it can't hold a lot of sludge, so. Yeah. But can I ask that because we didn't requ require any maintenance for ours. Could be Massachusetts. It's exactly the same system. Huh? Welcome Maine. to Massachusetts. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> If there's any way to charge someone, they'll do it. <laughs> but yeah, they really should be maintained because you have a system that's half the size. So if somebody yeah. goes out and shuts off that blower motor, now you have no air, now the system's not working. We didn't have a blower motor either. Yeah, Interesting. so it might have been a little different. You just might have had a gravity feed system with a pump. Yeah. So it only runs three or four times a day? The blower runs, was it off on? Yeah, yeah. 30 minutes on, 30 minutes on. I know sometimes on. the complaints you get, you know, people go and shut them off overnight or something because they can use a lot of electricity, I guess. Although they're it's, probably using more efficient blowers these days. Yeah, it's, uh, I think they came out with a charge like $13 a month. So yeah. it's one of the more expensive ones. Some of the other ones are eight or nine, but then those systems are more money than this one. Yeah. So unless it's called for and we need a stronger yeah. treatment system, this is the one yeah, that we need. small control. system. Yeah. You can get the blowers that go under the ground now. So that yeah. Really, it, it'll kind of Model yeah, and this one here, I stuck it right by the road. No one's not going to bother anybody. Everyone's going to be by the water, and then yeah. the neighbor's going to be behind their house. So it's like a small AC unit running when it kicks on. <clears throat> Any other questions? Yeah, Jeff. Yeah, so I'm going to make a motion to close the hearing, um, issue an order of conditions for. DEP uh, 32 Full Shores Road, DEP number 192-0875 with our standard um, conditions and um, an additional condition that we'd like a copy of the reporting that goes to the Board of Health for the fast air, is that it? Uh, Microfast. Microfast Micro. system. Um, and order of conditions will not be issued until we get a revised plan. Yep. Okay. Second. Yep. Okay. A motion and a second. Discussion? Uh, 0875, was that the actual? Yeah. yeah. I just thought I remembered it a little differently. 0875. 192-0875. Okay. <laughs> for some reason, I thought there were four digits in there. There are, but one's a zero. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so we have a motion and a second and discussion. So, uh, yes, we vote. All those in favor, uh, please read, please uh, indicate. Yeah. Aye. 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 Motion carries. Just a side question. Is there an alarm in the house that it's done? Yes. Okay. It's actually a visual. It's usually um, a visual and audio. So yeah. We sometimes will, in this house here, it will be mounted on the outside wall. <clears throat> so that even a neighbor, if someone's oh, not okay. there in the summer, a neighbor can see that the pump is not working and the red light is on. Yeah, but after 13 years, when that went off in the house, I went crazy. What the hell? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah don't come to get me. I've never heard it before. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thanks, Sam. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Fred, it's like the first time the little battery in the cell goes off to remind you that that's the backup for your landline. You're going, what in the world is <laughs> being in my cell? You go down there and see the little red light blinking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's not as bad as the sump pump. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when it starts beeping, you want to know what, what's going on. All right. Uh, All right. Moving on to our next one 22 Montgomery Street. Uh, I'll read the notice. <clears throat> According to the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 131, Section 40 of the Wetlands Protection Act, you will be hearing on a notice of intent by Malik Construction for the construction of a driveway to a future single family residential dwelling within an inland resource area in bordering vegetated wetland. Whew. Location of the project is 22 Montgomery Street, Lakeville. Block 18, uh, excuse me, map 18, block one, lot 1A. 
public hearing will be held on Tuesday, January, June 14th at 7 p.m. Good evening. Uh, for the record, now is from here. Uh, here um, for, for NOI filing, it was from 10 filing. This is actually, some of you were here, uh, most of you were here, some of you were not. Uh, this was in front of the commission back in 2017. Thought um, I recognized yep. that it. It was approved. Came up the other way, right? That driveway came up this side. It was exactly the same, actually exactly the same. Oh, it was? Yeah. Okay. We, um, so what happened was the order expired. Um, it just expired within like a couple months. Um, so we're back before you. We've updated the plans. The, the wetland line was reflagged um, to basically what it was in the field. Um, and it, we, we hung them based off of our survey um, information. Um, the driveway itself is just extended through that small portion of BBW. It's the least amount of impact um, within the BBW. And then it extends all the way to the 100 foot buffer zone. Any work that's done outside, any work that's proposed on the property, because it's a, it's a vacant piece of property, as I'm sure you're aware, um, it's fully wooded. Um, the, any work that's going to be done for the uh, construction in the rear will be outside the 100 foot buffer zone. So that's why we're before you is just as a limited project for a crossing within a BBW. Um, and so basically, like I said, nothing has changed at all. It's exactly the same uh, set of plans other than a new date and a little bit updated information as far as natural heritage, because that's changed and things of that nature. Um, so without boring you, we have provided um, the erosion control measures as we did in the past, um, as well as the culvert. Um, we provided, uh, this is an overall of the property, um, just showing how far back it goes back. Uh, it goes back almost 670, over 660 feet. Uh, can you turn that over? I, I can, of course. Um so the the red is the twenty-five, the fifty is the blue, and the one hundred the the red. I'm sorry, excuse me, the green color. Um so that driveway is is literally just coming out. It's a twelve foot wide paved driveway. Um that we like I said we proposed before. We're proposing erosion control all along here. The impact, uh, I have a breakdown here. The impact is Twenty two thousand fifty eight square feet. That's the uh, proposed pervious coverage. Uh, that's right here. Fine. Um, so it's eight hundred and forty uh, square feet of uh, wetland that's disturbed, and we are providing a one point five ratio application. So thirteen hundred and three square feet is what we're providing at this time. So the replication is in this area here. The um, disturbance is in this area here. Um, so, like I said, nothing has really changed at all. We have some additional details, some wetland replication. There will be a wetland scientist on um, when the work is done that will have to be out there to um, witness it and make sure that it's done properly and plant the plants appropriately, uh, things of that nature. And obviously the commission will be informed of when that's being done as well, um, just like we've done in the past. Um, that's really about it. I don't want to simplify it too much but like i said this has been in front of the commission before and uh, uh we're just looking to basically uh, unfortunately they were not privy enough to update it uh to extend it so we we went back before you with new what family. happened when it came before us before it was approved oh yeah it was approved it was an order of conditions and then you just never did the work they well, they never did the work yeah so correct it was i think it actually is uh transferred title uh owners a couple okay. times since from what I what I believe, from looking and at the registry, conditions goes with the property. That's correct, okay. but unfortunately, it's expired. Can I ask Bob a question? That was my property. Yeah. Yeah. No, but the, right, the, but the property was sold in, in 2018, and the couple that bought it divorced, so nothing was done, and not a twig was changed from. And I had the same engineering uh, company um, back then. So. Unfortunately, they let it lapse. Wonder if they had the same order condition. <laughs> that would be easy. Do you have another lot that you had before us? Has it just seen at this stone wall right here? It just seems like there was another lot on Montgomery Street. Well, the that one we next to it there was. Uh, I'm at 18. At. This is 22. There's a 20. 20, but it's not subdivided. Yeah. That I own. 
right. I think I'll, so. I'll That's why I said I thought it was on the other side because I remember seeing another one too on Montgomery Street, right in that same area. Outback Engineering, Engineering did the original engineering on it, and they had the wetland line come way further out than what was mm -hmm. what we found, um, and the impact was a lot more. Uh, I think they actually had. I think that might be what you're thinking. Okay. Is that the the driveway? It, it's actually exactly what it was. The driveway <clears throat> was on the southerly side of the property. That's exactly now that you said it's been so okay. long since I've looked at that, but okay. that's exactly what it was. The wet right. line at that time, the shortest distance of impo least amount of impact was on that southerly side when we actually reflagged it and you know went out there, reviewed it, okay. found that this was the better, you know, the better route, and that's why we went this route. Okay. That's, yeah, that's good. All right, so I'm not nuts. <laughs> why I well, called I mean, that's to earlier be <laughs> because I wasn't sure what the, the layout for different lots were, because we had looked at twenty, twenty two and in 18 previously for, for uh, some kind of transaction. Matter of fact, wasn't there a, a small footbridge that that connected the two plots? A footbridge? Not that I'm About aware. halfway down in between the two lots, there was, um, it was kind of a homemade thing. Oh, is that Nancy? Yeah, unhappy neighbor too, or something. <laughs> she was in. Is it Nancy Kitchen? Kitchen, yeah. Uh, she was going to buy it. I think she on her property. I believe she because I've looked at that property for her in the past. I believe there is a footbridge on that. Okay. I believe. That's you're trying to jog my memory again, which isn't a good thing. There's not much. There to <clears throat> yeah, mine rattles a little bit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, nothing. Th this is exactly the same. Um, it's really, you know, other than other than dates and things of that nature, it's really kind of the same. The same. And this time, I believe they have a buyer. There's somebody, you know, with the current market. Obviously, somebody's looking to construct, and they have a home. And you know, uh, we have uh, provided, um, we have uh, produced septic designs. Uh, that are going to be submitted to the Board of Health, I believe, actually tomorrow. I was just waiting on tonight's meeting before I did that because I'm referencing this plan on that set of plans. That will get submitted to the Board of Health. Like I said, no work is proposed within 100 feet of that. Mm -hmm. All the perks, the septic, the well, the, everything. Uh, the extension of the driveway, the home itself, grading, landscaping is all outside the 100 foot buffer zone. The only work that we are filing for is this as a limited project. No, we had a, did everyone get the last minute email from uh, Laurie Kennedy about there was a stream running under the road? Did you get that today? Where? Was that for, for this project? Yeah. I know, I left my phone in the truck so I couldn't even bring it up. But we got that like, sometime this afternoon. I mean, she didn't say anything. He didn't, uh... But I think they're talking about this drainage culvert right here. Yeah, and that's the pro that's coming back to me from last time. That, that, that that's there what was I'm a see neighbor yeah. with this drain at the drainage culvert's yeah. right here, but it's off the property. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not that's sure fine. why we got that. It is off the property. Right. And, and you were I remember because we were all there. Right. We walked that Nancy and, and the Plymouth County mosquito uh, Right. Cleaned it they up. wanted to. They wanted to fix that culvert and open that culvert up. Right. But Jeswall, who owned that property, didn't want them on her property, mm -hmm. and that actually discharges a lot of water. So they did Dave Beeland's side, but they never did the side that we're on. I wish they had. Yeah, there was a lot of standing mm -hmm. water. Mm -hmm. well, she may change her mind now. But, but that's probably what they're talking about. Yeah, that yeah it backed up all the time. It's a small culvert. It's not enough that it goes over the road and backs up at the property? Backs up on our property, on this lot. Yes, this lot. Yeah. 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 Because it's not cleaned out on that side, it's a mess. I didn't think you'd had any say about uh, how this Plymouth County the skill control comes in. <laughs> they pretty much can do what they want to do. Really. A couple of times, actually, they've called. Yeah, they'll call us. And said we're going to be doing some cleaning some drains or whatever. Whether or not you like it. <laughs> well, at least they notify it. Yeah. 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 Used to be the town used to do it. Right. I, I, that hasn't happened in a long time, but the town used to clean it out. And, uh, I, I know. I know. At one time, they would dig out things like that because Dougie Mills, when he was fire chief a zillion years ago, he wanted some little holes where you could drop a pump in to pump some water out to get a start of a fire. Yeah. Which they don't do anymore. We don't have the pump holes that we used to have. <laughs> 
Because we got big tankers now, I guess. All right. Miles, it looks like there's two well on lines. Yes. It's just this little strip. Any information on that? Just. Uh, no, that's not, there's no wet one like okay. No, right. I think that might just be like a mark on the plan, sorry. Okay. Yeah, it, it, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it goes like this. Yeah, like line. that's what I figured. I mean, yeah. that's the one I'd go with anyway. Of course. <laughs> of course. But just want to ask the question. No, I, I appreciate that. Any other comments? Questions? Okay. It's going to put a driveway in, huh? That's it. For now, that's that's what. The, so the way this works is to be able to do a wetland crossing. The only way you can do a wetland crossing um, under the Wetlands Protection Act is to do it through what's called a limited project. Um, a limited project is if you permit the driveway to access your rear land, your rear property, and then the work that they're going to do for the home will be done separately. Um, but there's no filing required for that because it's outside the 100 foot buffer zone. So there's no jurisdiction for conservation on conservation's end. Okay. If if there were if there were work within the 100 foot buffer zone for the house, yeah. we would have filed a limited project filing first, and then filed the notice of intent for the for the construction of the home. Got it. Okay. Concurrently. Thanks. Yes. But it's a great question. And and in general, the uh, conservation commissions are kind of tasked with you know not really being able to block access to the rear of the property if they have the required legal frontage correct it's really you have to look at an alternatives analysis you have to make sure that right. there's no other means of access through to that piece of property unfortunately there's no other means there's no right of ways around it there's no availability to purchase any other land at this time um so there's really no ability to do anything other than to it, all you have the only thing you can really do is show that you have impacting the least amount right. which is what we're what yeah. we're doing so yeah. we good? good okay we have a motion i make a motion that we close the hearing issue an order of conditions with our um standard conditions and we have a special set of conditions for wetland replication um the additional thing that I think I would ask for is we'd like um, Bob to get the uh, name and number of the wetland scientist yeah, and that maybe he can overstay the different stages. There's a lot of different stages. It doesn't have to be every day, but when you get to certain points that Bob will go and yeah. check. So yeah, absolutely. information up front about the wetland scientist and all our standard conditions for wetland replication. Do we want to consider any kind of a <clears throat> review? And you want to look over the replication plan? Say that again. Isn't well, that I all, assume that, that kind of yeah, it's peer review. Peer review, yeah. It's pretty much called out. Yeah. About well, um, you know, they'll call you when the silt fence goes in. Um, I'm not recommending it. I'm just questioning I, since I mean it's, a, it's not a big area yeah it's not yeah, something it's we generally yeah. do and yeah. you know Niles what I really like and I do this myself a lot leave the back hole the grooves yeah let we actually some, yeah it's, it's on there I like I like that yeah. and people always want to make it so dead smooth no put all the ridges in so stuff can catch and stabilize it's not pit mount yep right? yep That's what you want. because right. in our um standard repl replication ones the the period of how many you know that it takes one, that is a usually two, one growth season i believe it's two two growing seasons, two growing seasons. it is two that's in our but yep. that's already in our order of conditions well but their plan would have to coincide it would have to be in accordance with our order of conditions correct, correct. right so yeah we again you guys know we've done many of these with you yeah. i say many but we've done these in the past to be, be sure that these comply with what you typically like so no, we're good. and exactly what shrubs and, and plants are going in are on there it's, it's on there yes yeah. so good, i think huh? that's good all right was there a second to this second we have a motion and a second all those in favor please signal 
Aye. Aye. Nancy. Aye. Joe. Aye. Aye. Fred. Aye. Aye. Josh and myself. Aye. Just out of curiosity, the replication area, is it cleared now? No. So you can, you don't cut trees for that, do you? you, you know. Well, if there's anything in the way, we, we will. Okay. Um, only because... Yeah, I was just curious how that works. It, we're obviously trying to minimize the impact. Right. Um, yes, if there's a tree that needs to come down, then we will. But the problem is if you meander around them, yeah. there's way more impact. Yeah. yeah. And it does say any large trees within the replication area should remain if possible. Yes. If possible. Yeah, I mean, you did a good job on here. I think what Bob's talking about, sometimes we don't get all this stuff, so we have to... And someone look it over. Right. Good luck. All right, thank, thank you very you much, everyone. Thanks, Al. Have a great thank day. Thank you. And check those building lights when you get a chance. I'm going to tell you. I've, I've told him before. He, he hasn't noticed it either. <laughs> I'm half asleep. <laughs> and Jamie doesn't get in until 9.30. He doesn't get in until 9.30. Yeah. <laughs> okay, before I forget, and before we carry on with anything else, here are two signature pages. <laughs> okay. Oh. And Bob, when you when they call you, go check the uh, siltation barrier, right? Mm -hmm. If you don't have the name and number of the wetland scientist by then, you will ask for it, right? Right. Okay. All right. Good night. Good night. Bye, Niles. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah, that's what we did for. Um, but Bob Pellucci's property, Jamie called me yep. and I went out and it was, uh, what's Bob Gray? Oh, Bob Gray. Yep. And we just, the three of us just went over the plans and, and that's what I'm looking for. Some kind of review like that. All right. Um, okay, let's get our signatures. While we're waiting, do you want to get started on open space, Nancy? Open space. Um, I went to the, um, you know, it didn't pass a town meeting and I had gone to the hearing. I was the only person at the hearing for the open space bylaw when the, um, Oh, you mean the, uh, the cluster zoning thing? Yes. Yeah. All right. Yes. They're just gone to open space. Now they've only changed the name. It's really been around for a really, really long time. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, well, they've been talking about it in town for a long time. I went to more seminars on it back in the day then yeah. i even want to remember because nothing ever came of it yeah. make lakeville never wanted to do it before um so when i went to the um the hearing which was only what four days before right. town meeting which was a little difficult um the planning board said that they would work with me on some of the changes i asked a lot of questions and there was some things i wanted to change and they said that they would um work with me for the fall town meeting, they actually misunderstood, thought they weren't going to put it on and they were going to wait for fall town meeting, but they didn't. They went, they you pushed it, they it's, pushed it on, on anyway. And um, then when I said, did I misunderstand at the hearing? I go, did I misunderstand when they all said voted that they were going to do it? I'm like, because I thought they were going to wait. And um, they said, no, well, we can tweak it in the fall. And I don't know if you watched anything about last night, but I'm just, I think the town of Lakeville has learned its lesson from putting something on and then decide they're going to tweak it later. Yeah. So, I mean, I just, God, no. <laughs> so, um, Michelle. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Did I just say that? Was okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, so I had um, a plan from Sherborne, which was the plan that was put forward was very similar to Foxborough. Yeah. Who has town water and sewer, correct? Has town water, water and sewer, and they don't have the resources that we have. Yeah. And going forward in the future, from the grants I've been working on, I've been assured that a lot of money that's coming forth in the future is going to be about, uh, not they don't call it climate change, they call it climate resiliency. Climate resiliency. And that really needed to be in some of the verbiage up front under your intent and why you're doing this and whatever. And I was not against the Conservation Commission being first and forefront on watching the property. I would just want more. Besides just us watching the property, I want more. I mean, are we going to get an endowment? That's what the Wildlands Trust would ask for. Are we going to, you know, hire a specialist that will keep an eye on it what comes up? And the example that came to my mind is um, Lakeport Business Park. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, way in the back, whatever that business is. I can't remember. There's a big business, the last one in the back, and their uh, retention 
detention ponds had all grown in bed and we gave them uh, an order of conditions to go in there and mow them down and fix them up. And we said, every September, we want to see what you've, you know, what you've done, how you've maintained it, because it was such a mess. Mm -hmm. We've never seen one. And when I was the agent, I even had written them a letter or sent them an email and say, you know, hey, and then we've never seen one. And then that was how many years ago? I want to say 10, but, um, you know, I don't know about years, but it's really hard to keep track of just that one thing. Yeah. So I wanted more verbiage in the bylaw for how that's protected under like article 97 land there's a chapter 184 about in that open space isn't going to end up 20 years when gene bartlett put that restriction on his property up the street here right little did mm -hmm. we know until later uh, oh that only goes for 20 years and then it's null and void it's null and void so that. there just wasn't an, i wanted more i thought there should be more there I, keep I, saying I, was, I, 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 but I just you know i think it was kind of pushed for some reason trying to push it through fat quickly. And I think there were, after re reviewing it, I've, I've spoken to a few people and nobody was really happy with, yeah. you know, I with mean, the amount of review time we had. So, I mentioned earlier, there was a big op-ed piece in the Boston Globe today about towns and water. And they said, there's three things that towns have to do. Protect your water sources, protect your water sources, protect your water sources. We think we've got a lot of water. We don't. And you see what's happening in other parts of the country. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden you go from, gee, I thought we had a lot of water to the whole state's on fire and we have no water to put it out or water to drink or water for the farmers. And I have to say for all the hats I've worn in this town over all the years, my personal main focus has always been the water. I've mm -hmm. never seen you wear a hat. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've heard people complain about water quality and, and, and availability, etc. And I said to them, you don't know how lucky you are. Oh, boy. We've got the water resources. We got, we're a water-rich area, New England. We've got good, clean water. We've got plenty of it. And, and we really don't take care of it as much as we Don't take care be. of it. Yep. yep. Anyhow, M Michelle McCurchin. McCurchin, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. McEachern has, has yeah. taken that the Sherborne bylaw that I had, and I want to get a few more to look at other people's and take little pieces. I haven't seen one that I really think like looks like us, but there are little pieces from different ones right. that seem good. And actually, Westport, um, after they passed their open space bylaw, yeah. came up with a um, I don't want to say a cheat sheet. When you're in college, what are those? Uh, cheat sheet. Okay. Um, <laughs> a study guide. Yeah, a study guide. Right? Cliff notes. Yeah, they came out study with like, guide, a study right? guide for contractors to like walk them yeah. through the process, yeah. which I thought was really mm -hmm. good. Um, anyway, so I'm working with Michelle to get things in writing from the boards. Nothing came from any of the boards in writing. Right. So, um, and I think we need to do that. Um, I was thinking Fred might be interested in help looking into some of the yeah. ways we can, you know, tie, make sure that that land's not tied up. It's not you're an open totally space on anyway, our right? shoulders. Yeah. yeah. The other thing they said that they would put in the homeowners association thing, because I don't see on small pieces why they wouldn't tie it. You can legally tie it into that homeowners association. So that's in all their deeds and everything. And they yeah. are going to maintain, especially they if have it's to maintain small. It. And if it's a small one, like five houses or something, I don't think it should be open to the public. There was a lot of questions right. about well, it being open, open to, to the public. public. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. th th just lots of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to, you know, I kind of want the uh, little backup from the Hong Kong mm -hmm. that, you know, I'm going to work on this yeah. with Michelle. So the way it, it, it got <laughs> voted down, now it's going to come back? Well, here's the other problem with Lakeville Country Club. If that should pass and somehow that goes forward, we're going to have to go to town meeting in September. Usually our fall town meeting was what, November last year. Yeah. So I'm thinking, oh, it's plenty of time to work on this. And uh, we can have, a t have to have a town meeting as early as September. So I kind of picked up the pace a little. Because <laughs> I don't want it that, you know, I don't want it to come back and say, oh, well, you know, you had this so you're going to work on it. You didn't hop to it, but you know, and here we are again going to town meeting with something that's not ready. So just an update, basically. 
All right, I'm the next one too. <laughs> <laughs> on the sediment control for the Namaskat River, that's one of the monies from, uh, I don't know if it was from Representative Rural or it might have been the Upper Namaskat Sedimentation Study. Yep. Well, they're, they really did a good job. They need a notice of intent to do the sedimentation removal on the Namaskat. Yeah. Um, so, but it has to come from the Middleborough Board of Selectmen have to put it in and the Lakeville Board of Selectmen. We did to... that last, last year, two years ago. Oh, that was, we that said was emerge, the, that was not for the, the sediment, that was for that was the, the, weed, the vegetation right. removal and they the did same, it and yeah. it worked same great. Same worked process. Great. Okay. Same process, but it's a little different with the sedimentation because there's a lot more mass DOTs involved. So they have to dig it out? Yeah, well, the a gotta, piece actually fell off the railroad bridge or one of their abutments or something oh, went down into the river and there, there are some choke points there. Oh. All right, so um, I would like to work with Trisha Cassidy because we'll have to write a notice of intent. Yeah. So Trisha's um, pretty good with that, probably better than me or any of us. The last so, time we met over at the Conservation Commission in the middle in their town hall. Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yes. I remember that. Yeah, actually that's where I'm going Thursday. There's a meeting 10 to 11 to talk about it because when I had called Ari to put it on the selectmen's meeting, but he wants to know what you put, not, not just a discussion. I might, we might as well start the NOI so that, that I could bring it and show that they have to submit it to us. And Trisha will help me write the standards that you have to meet when you. Did we do that last time, or did they bring us one? We had a draft. It was the it fisheries. Was. Who, who was it that made the? Yeah, it was, it was the, the fish. It yeah. was the fisheries. It was the fisheries because the whole fisheries yeah. committee was there. Remember. And then there's yeah. um, Brad Chase, who's the big guy that yeah. tells us that these are the standards you have to meet. So yeah. it has to be very specifically to get by all the whoever has, mm -hmm. it has to get by. And it needs to be done. Yeah. Like sooner oh, yeah. than later. So I'm going to so work. So, what with are you Trisha. looking for from us? Just a, a vote or just agreement? Mm -hmm. I agree. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> well, is that a, a Bob? And I mean, you know, Bob's good about that. I mean, information. Yeah. And when it's done, I mean, we'll have to review it. Right. right. Okay. Okay. All right. Are you the next one too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I assume since you voted for me to be on the committee to get it passed, I you vote me on the committee to be on it. Bingo. <clears throat> Good assumption. I do need a motion for that one. Okay. <laughs> I'll make a motion <laughs> to appoint Nancy to the Community Preservation Committee as a representative of this commission. Second. Second. Josh. All those Thanks. in favor? Aye. 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 What a shock. Don't Thank blame you. Don't blame me. This Thank was your you. idea. I didn't hear you agree. <laughs> huh? She didn't vote. Yes, I did. I said yes. Thank you. Um, yeah, that's a long time coming for me. I put it on twice and it didn't pass. So. Um, it's, I think it's a different demographic in Lakeville, maybe, mm -hmm. that it passed so well this time. Yeah. I mean, it, I'm not saying it flew through, but I mean, it was... Uh, there was a lot of people working on it too. I was kind of out there by myself in the past. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right, we're good. Okay, John, one more motion. Motion to adjourn. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. We got minutes. Um, no, we don't have any minutes. No we, we, Well, we get them today. We did electronically. Yeah. I oh, we get we get the minutes of. The oh, April of, the, of the yeah combined yeah, that was the meeting the, with the plan and the agenda. agenda. We can wait till next time. We can wait till next time. Exactly. I have a question though. We do have uh, another NOI coming up in our next meeting, uh, the end of the month. Uh, and just to take a quick survey, how many of you would prefer to do it in in person or back to Zoom? I like it in person. Yeah, I, I like it in I person. Like it in person. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it doesn't make a lot of difference to me, uh, but I like in person. I like in person. Simply myself. because, especially anything that involves good size plans. Yeah, maps or, if it was February, I'd feel a little differently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if it's something simple like a certificate of compliance and we just got to vote, you know, I don't have any problems with that. But uh, I think we lose something when it's not in yep. person. Yep. Do we have the option? Of doing it no one's way. told me not to yet. Okay. So until they do. So I don't tell them if it's up to the select board. Oh yeah. So 
because they're talking about going back or staying on Zoom. The, yeah. All the commissioners want to stay on Zoom, but ultimately it's up to the select yeah. board. So. I suppose if things change with uh, with COVID and everything else, they might go that way. But until we hear yeah. otherwise, yeah. All right, we'll stick to the plan. Great. All right, so you can you. hold your breath until next. So a motion to adjourn. Now you can do it. You <laughs> both of them, Nancy. Second. I, no I just did. <laughs> I thought I only started writing once. Okay. We have a motion. Did I get a second? Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. All right. Opposed? <laughs> hey, Bob, remember, you can't get Just, this out until uh, you get the revised.